going on guys victor here in the beautiful florida keys actually out of tavernier creek marina with a very familiar face captain ryan of good karma sport fishing <laughs> hey guys captain ryan is a really good friend of ours and we've done a couple videos with him now chasing grouper snapper this guy does it all down here in the florida keys so if you want to book a charter i'm gonna have all of his stuff linked below but let's head offshore Every good bottom fishing trip always starts with one thing, and that's chum. <laughs> and Ryan doesn't play around when it comes to chum. I leave a 25 pound block out the night before, and, I, and I'm impatient, man. I want to get the spot fired up quick, so. That's how you know a captain's good. If he can go on for 10 minutes talking about chum, he knows a thing or two. <laughs> how about yeah, that? I go to sleep at night thinking about chum. I, it's pretty sad, but <laughs> you get, my wife says you gotta be, a, you're, you're, you're overly obsessed sometimes, but you gotta be overly obsessed if you're really gonna wanna catch some fish. And it looks like we got some beautiful current. And the reason that current is so important, like we always tell you guys, is because if you're sitting in stagnant water, your chum's flowing down, you're not chumming a big area. When there's current, that chum is flowing for miles and miles. Now you're pulling fish off of the reef, the ledge, wrecks nearby, and they're gonna follow that chum slick, swim up current, and towards your boat. Ryan's favorite grouper bait. <laughs> I'm a big believer after last trip. We caught a keeper grouper last time we fished with Ryan. And this is the ticket right here, wouldn't you say? That's the candy. Yeah, you gotta fish big heavy gear because the first thing any grouper wants to do is head for a rock, ledge, wreck, whatever it is, because they want to seek structure. Oh yeah, he's on it, he's on it. Something's on it. Get him, that's the grouper. Get him. Go, go. Come on, baby. Right you ain't getting in the bottom today. You haven't been going to the gym every day all no! week. Oh, no! Ryan, I think the hook just pulled. That's that's the game you play though. You gotta you pull a lot of hooks because you're fishing lock drag, but you can't give them an inch because they're gonna find that structure and break you off. Okay, so I'm going down for round two. Peter, we've been here for three minutes and that grouper bait did not take long at all. There he goes. There he was sleeping on it. Mangrove. You think? Yeah. Big mangrove on the speedo? Gotta be. Quite like one. There you go. See, it's as easy as that and reel all the way through. Yeah. It's a mutton. It's a mutton. Oh, nice little mutton. Wow, that puts into perspective of how big of a bait a mutton will eat. You can't beat the start of the day with a gorgeous Florida Keys mutton. This guy's probably not going to make it as far as legal size, but still fun to catch. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. That mutton ate a speedo that big. There's a little with either a little mang or a little mutton. See, I just switched that bait out to a chunk of speedo and look what happened. Wow, yeah, that's true. Oh, little baby black. Oh, Ooh, little Nemo. There he is, Victor. There he is. Go, go, go. That's the one right there. That's him. Soon as you turn your back, you That's it. his big brother. That's his big bro. Come on. You got him out. He's out. Nice and easy. Let me know when you see the weight. That's him. That's a big black. He's hung up. Oh, he's hung up, but he's coming out. He's coming out. He's out. Oh yeah, you got him now. I'll be right there. Let me know when you see the weight. That's him. That's him for sure. That's him. Little baby bird. That's a big black. Man. Come on, come on. Black. It's a biggie. Woo! Nice! Big, big old there, guys. there we go! Woo! There we go! That elite for sure. That elite job, brother. Brother. Got it. Good karma right here. <laughs> That's what you come to the keys for. Ryan put down a speedo chunk, caught like a 
18, 19 inch black? Yeah, undersized one. Yep, I quickly released him. And then look who came to play, his big brother. Yep. I'd say this is probably a 28, yeah, about a 28. 27 inch fish. Definitely a keeper black grouper. One of my favorite things to catch of all time. These fish are just so powerful, incredibly smart, and look at how gorgeous. I mean, when it comes to their patterns, nothing beats it. Great guy, great captain, and like I said, I'm gonna have all of his stuff linked below. Just like, just like I said, 27 inch right there. Great fish. 27 and a half inch. That's perfect. Brookie's turn for a grouper. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, Subscribe Land Shark Outdoors. Subscribe for Chris Outdoors. It's free, it costs you guys nothing, and then YouTube will let you guys know when we upload a video. He's there. Yep. Did he wake up on you? Yep. He was sleeping on it. That is sleepy. Button? Yeah. But yeah, I oh, can't call that one. That's, that's got something else in it. Oh! Oh, he's on there now. Get a turn? Yeah. Change the bait. Man, he slid over to this side of the reef. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Feels like the right one, Ryan. Oh my oh! goodness! Man, you know what? I'm actually excited really to catch this white. thing. <laughs> this right here is what you call the white snapper or the silver snapper. We don't have a lot of these where we're from. You see a lot of them in the Bahamas and you see a lot of them in the Keys. And these things are actually delicious. It's literally just a giant oversized grunt. This is really a good. Cool. He's two different colors right now. Yeah. They fight good, tricked us all. We all thought it was a mutton. And great table fare. It's the biggest one I've, I've ever caught. Fish so nice, I'll give them a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Big orange mouth. Got him, he's moving back at you. There you go. Yeah, he was swimming right towards us. Swimming at you, acting like a mutton. Oh, that is a little guy. Yeah. I don't know. Don't gotta measure them up. We've caught a bunch of different muttons today and everyone's got a little bit different coloring. Some are more pink than others. This guy's got a lot of bars on him. Some are more green than others. <gasps> He's legal. Yeah. He's just like the last one. Just literally. like the last one. Yeah, let him go. Let him Look go. at this. We're letting yeah. legal muttons go. Let him go. Legal muttons let him go. go. Let, him let it be known. This is gonna hurt me, but. See ya. You know, that's good karma for your... It is for the big ones. Yeah, man. We are we are on good karma, so... You got a giant... King? Either a kingfish or you got a giant bonito. Oh. Ryan was letting out the uh, pilchard before the weight was on and pretty sure a bonita ate it. I don't know, it's kind of staying down. That could be a king. Could be a king. Let's see. It's a king. Is that a big old king? It's a king. That's a giant king. He screamed it. No, it's, no, it's, it's a, a king. king. It's a king. Yeah, it's a king. I'll quietly give it to my buddy for fish dip. Oh, yeah. Sure, I think it's decent. That'll be used for it. Oh, that's nice a nice king. king. Woo! Big old king, I never get tired of catching these fish. Oh, uh, we know. <laughs> I love these things. Frankie, we got some dip coming for you. Oh no, he saw that gap and Boy, he took he just off. Bailed on me. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. no, Nice. Oh, we'll take that all day! You can't ask for a better hook set on a toothy critter than wow. that. <laughs> you guys, I'm going 
guys see this circle hook perfectly in the corner of the mouth? Watch this. This leader's gonna break just like this. Just like that. If you go any slack on him, he's done. Right hook them perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Look at this, you got, this is by catch on a good karma charter. We're not even trying to catch these things and we're catching them. We got muttons, grouper, kingfish, action packed day, beautiful out here. And so one thing we're switching up is sometimes during the middle of the day, oh. fish don't want the dead bait. So we're switched into a little live bait. Yeah, we're gonna do a little live bait action here. My favorite way to hook the baits when I'm at anchor is I go right to the back. That way the fish swims away from the boat, make sure that the scales are off and then he does this. Basically all day we've been waiting for bait to come through. Ryan said it's been a grind. Huge ball of speedos just came through. Look at them, look at all of them. They're so fired up, oh my gosh. Huge school of speedos and then there's some ballyhoo back there as well. Look at those things. So Ryan's just got a little gold hook tipped with a little chunk of yeah, bonita. a little chunk there. Slips it back there in the chum slick. They think it's another piece of chum and then they're in the boat. Got him. That's gold right there. All right, I was letting out the pilchard again. Once again on the, on this rig, something ate it on the way out before we even had a chance to put the weight on it. Oh no, it's another king. Is it? Yeah. This one's a flipper. I'll tell you what, this guy's probably undersized. The second, second legal fish I've released. Look at him shoot across the surface over there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's smoking up top. Sorry. So, don't say Victor never releases any fish. I just released two legal fish today. Three? Three legal yeah. fish today. Two muttons and a kingfish. It's gonna get bigger the closer he gets. It's feeling like a mutton. Oh, uh, yeah, keep her mine, I think. Yeah, he's yep. got bigger. He's got a little bigger. You gotta start using that, seriously. You get a net, right? Color? Color, Oh, uh, yeah, we got it's color. Button. It's white. Yeah, it's a button. Maybe it's a big man. You guys, we've been in the same spot all day. Keeper muttons, keeper black grouper, have lost some donkey black grouper, and it's a very productive spot. You know, we're picking at fish, we have 30 minute spurts where it's red hot, then you get a little lull, but you just gotta put in the time, and Ryan just keeps in putting a new chum bag, and you're constantly just pulling on new fish off of the reef. and. A lot of people think bottom fishing, you're dropping straight down. These fish got tails. These fish swim. Muttons are not lazy. Grouper are not lazy. These fish can travel miles every single day. They're gonna find your bait. You just gotta be in the right spot at the right time. So today we're fishing on a Sea Hunter, which is not Ryan's boat. The boat that we fished on with Ryan, I'll have playing on the screen here, but just so I don't wanna do any false advertising. Ryan's got a nice boat too, and it catches plenty of fish, but this is just one of his client's boats that we're just getting to use for the day. That's a yellow tail. Get a big yellow tail? Yeah, there you go. Just need the mangrove and then we got the trifecta of snapper. Get that bang now. They're fast. Man. Yeah. Man, this thing charged. Yeah, you charge shit. I think this is going to be another yellow tail. It's sliding right up. Charge it, Yeah, I think it's going to be a yellow tail. Tail, more than likely. Yep. There you go. And no. a, a mutton. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Get him! Yeah. Yeah. Nice grover, nice huh? <laughs> All right. Well, this is the third of the snapper species we tried to target. We got a nice mangrove, yellow tails, plenty of muttons in the box. Yeah. Real pretty fish. Ricky got her first keeper black grouper today. Yes, I did. Very proud of her. Epic day, and she caught a ton of muttons. This guy is not only a badass fisherman, he is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to bottom fishing, as you guys can clearly tell by the pile of fish there. So if you guys want to check out any of his podcasts or courses, I'm going to have them linked below. And as always, I'm going to have all of his charter stuff linked below. So we'll catch you guys in Pompano. We got a lot of fish to flay. We got a ton of fish for the dinner table. And like I said, tonight is Jed's birthday, which is Brookie's brother. 
Now we're gonna do his favorite thing, which is fried fish. We're just gonna do a big old fish fry in the backyard. Ricky's gonna make a little fish appetizer. It's gonna be a good time. So we're just gonna fillet one fish on video. This mutton real quick for you guys. And this is an eight inch Dexter flexible fillet. You guys ask me all the time, my favorite knives. I would say if you had to have one knife in your arsenal, it would probably be this guy because it's the most versatile for the amount of species you're gonna flake. Certainly not the right knife for really big species like swordfish, but your snapper, your grouper, wahoo, tuna, kingfish, very good knife. And it's also perfect for skinning because it's got a good amount of flex, it's narrow, and it's long. And sharp as hell, as you guys can tell. Look at that. Bam. Holy Whoa. smokes, what was that? Jax, wait, wait. Are you guys ready for this? Where are you from? Right there. Jax, you're smoking. You guys can save 20% off all Dexter knives. Use my code Landshark, it's gonna be linked below. The one thing I love about this company that I'm proud to stand behind is the fact that they've been made in the USA since 1818. How many companies can say that at this day and age? So All right guys, we're at Brooke's parents' house and Brookie's making a little fish bruschetta. I just have some fish with a little homemade, this is half flour, half cornstarch. Put a little bit of Tony's in there, put a little bit of lemon pepper, salt, pepper, garlic powder, just to spice it up. And um, this is just a basic flour batter. Going in the oil. And I pre-dredge them in the flour and cornstarch this is actually something James taught me. To get it real crispy, you do a double dredge. And this is a mixture of grouper and mutton snapper. So you see that flour is all soaked into the fish the first time. Now it gets another layer the second time. All right, guys, we got a nice family dinner going. We got the birthday boy back there. Comment below happy birthday to Jed. Almost a dirty 30, but he's got one more year. Brookie made a little fish bruschetta, which is absolutely delicious and just looks good, super fresh. Everybody's loving it. You guys haven't seen that? And you wanna see how she made this mutton snapper bruschetta? Hop on over to her channel. By request, Jed loves pickles. And what's better than fried pickles? So we got some fried pickles going on. And that's the exact same batter we use for the fish as well.